The appeal filed by former MP Duminda Silva, who is on death row, was taken up for consideration today. The Attorney General's Department informed the Supreme Court that Duminda Silva and four others were sentenced to death by two High Court judges after the evidence proved they had actively been involved in the Bharata Lakshman homicide. The case pertaining to the slaying of four people, including Bharata Lakshman Premachandra, was taken up before a trial at bar at the High Court and based on the decision reached by two justices, Duminda Silva and four others were sentenced to death. An appeal filed by Duminda Silva is being taken up for consideration before a five-judge bench led by Chief Justice Priyasat Depp. Deputy Solicitor General Tosit Mudalige presented submissions on behalf of the Attorney General today. The Deputy Solicitor General pointed out Duminda Silva had taken leadership in all incidents that took place for the crime and it has been proven by the evidence presented by the prosecution. He noted that Duminda Silva had made a statement to vote only for his follower and not his opponent who were contesting for the post of Chairman of Kotikavatta Mulleriava local government body at the 2011 elections and cited such a statement being made at election rallies was an attempt to create a conflict between two groups contesting from the same party. The Supreme Court decided to postpone the case to the 22nd of July.